everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we will be getting into paycheck to paycheck. I was trying to decide if I was going to do my monthly budget or like skip paycheck to paycheck and do monthly but I haven't been here for a while so I'm going to do um, paycheck to paycheck and then I'll still do my monthly breakdown. Um, if you've been following me for a while I have decided to Start over with my cash envelopes. This is all I had left, which was $144. Um, I had an unexpected bill. I have to renew my tags. I didn't know this was the year to renew them. Plus, I have like a state fee. Um, I live in Maryland, and it's a, a, I thought they took it out of my state taxes, so they didn't. So I have to pay the $188 plus pay to get my tags renewed. So that's roughly around 200. So I'm still short, but I said, let me just deplete my funds and I have regular bills. So we're going to hop right on into that. Let's get into it. Okay. This is the week of November 29th through December the 5th. We're in December already. And I did use some of my Christmas money. I did deplete that, um, envelope as well but that's i had 60 dollars left in that because i have bought christmas gifts with that so again if you're new here my sources of income are hair shopify and nail nails because i did put the etsy on vacation nails have been doing pretty good i'm still only accepting tips from my customers but I'm up to about seven customers. Some customers tip more, some customers tip less. And that right now, that's bringing in roughly around about between 75 and 100. I'm going to leave it on the low end of 75. Um, Shopify, I don't know. I did release some new um, items for the first time in a long time. Um, I just released those yesterday and they're not moving because I only put them in my group. So I'm going to leave that at zip at the moment. And hair, uh, I don't know. I'm going to just do 700 on the hair. So that gives us $775 um, total for the week. But we have a lot of bills due this week, y'all. Booth rent goes up this week. If you're new here, I'm a self-employed hairstylist. Um, also do nails. Um, everything is just um, self-employed income. But my booth rent, from where I rent space to do my hair, when my hair business is going up to 225 so I'm going to normally add that at the bottom, but I'm going to add that at the top. This pen acts like it wants to give out on me, so let me try to find another one. Good pen. Okay, and that is due on the 4th. All right. It was something else I was supposed to pay this week. Let me... Look. Oh, we have the first coming. So our first of the month bills are coming. So we have Amazon. And that's $13.77. I did get rid of my cloth and paper subscription only because I'm not really planning like that anymore. Not really planning like that anymore. And it was just an extra bill. Also, I'm back to afterpay, which I said I wouldn't do. So I had an afterpay this week. It really was a shop pay, and that was like $23. Okay. <clears throat> and that came out, I believe, on the 28th. Amazon comes out on the 1st. Then I have Ulta. And that's usually like $30. Okay. And then also we have, oh, God, so much. Oh, we have the Walmart card. Um, I think that's 35. Oh, we have T-Mobile. This is arrangements. That's 200. I'm going to put it at 18, but it's 217. That's some change. We have car insurance. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. $206. I'm, I, I already know I'm not going to have enough, but, you know, it always works out. So, oh, and let me put down miscellaneous. Let me put this here. I just thought about it. And this will be for my cash envelopes, which was $144. So let me do a little math. Because that's considered income. And that is $919. 
so and I've already made money on nails this week so and I have one more client so that's about right we have community bank which is due on the second and they will get I want to say they're 35 as well I can put them down as 35 and then we have credit one all these credit cards I've paid off Victoria's Secrets Lane Bryant they're never to return at least to my knowledge <laughs> and credit one I think it takes 35 as well and I'm just doing the base amount on these because I definitely want um, to free up a little bit of money um, that's it for the first so we have Amazon community Ulta Walmart credit one booth rent after pay which is paid um, matter of fact, I'm going to pay Ulta today so that I don't have a late fee. And Walmart isn't due until the 4th. T-Mobile, what is today? Today is the 30th. That'll be due on the 2nd. And the car insurance, that's due the 20th. That was due the 28th. It'll get paid. It might go into next week. But that's what's just do this month. I mean, this week. So let's do a little calculating. So we came in at $820.77. Ooh, so we make him pay it. We make him pay it. Um, and 77 cents total. Um, let's subtract it from the 919. If it wasn't for my extra, oh, and I didn't, I still forgot stuff, y'all. I really don't have enough. I still forgot stuff. I will put those down in the notes. So let's subtract 919. From the 820 that leaves us with $99 but we forgot that we have um, well, I have <laughs> not you all but me I have my PO box which is due and that's $71 and I'm debating whether to let it go or put it on a credit card. Um, I have to see. Um, so we have the P.O. box. We have the state bill, which I'm going to state. I'm just going to put state of Maryland. That is $188. And then I'm not for sure about my tags. But I know I can't renew my tags until this is paid. But for some reason, I thought I paid this already. Plus, they took my state taxes. So I need to make a call um to make sure and verify that i do owe this um i have no money coming in so we're really kind of like in the negative um so with p.o box state of maryland and i think my tags run me roughly about 175 to 200 let's do a little math in here i'm just going to put 200 i'm negative 459 dollars Um, can't worry about it. <laughs> Just can't do it. Um, I'm going to focus mainly on these things here. Um, like I said, I may be able to put my P.O. box on a credit card. Um, let's see. Booth rent has to be paid. There's nothing else that I can kind of skip here. Nothing. Not even T-Mobile because this is a payment plan. Um, car insurance, I may can move that over. Um, to next week because I have a 15 day grace period uh, community has to be paid and these credit cards have to be paid so that is that you guys there's nothing going on over here I have my miscellaneous which I roughly spent a week about mm, 75 to 100 like now I need paper towels I need them for the house and I need them for the nail part for the nail salon I need um, some more household stuff not a whole lot so 
we'll see. And if you would like for me to do a check-in, like a follow-up of this budget and what got paid and what didn't get paid, let me know. So that is it, you guys, for my weekly uh, paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in. I am self-employed again. So if you're self-employed like me, and I've, I got a few people, um, a few subscribers, friends that are self-employed and you understand <laughs> when you don't know what you're going to make you have to make something shake and you got to make it shake in any direction now also i've thought about for some extra income i have um the subscription i received from cloth and paper i don't use it i was thinking about selling the whole box i just hate the hassle of selling it but i have some planner items that i could sell um to generate a little bit of income but it won't be a whole lot you know so push come to shove i'll sell that stuff i just don't have the energy to sell it right now but um i just don't feel like it but i know i need to so that is that let's pop this back in so again if you're self-employed like me i mean it is a monthly weekly <laughs> daily struggle for me um i do plan to get back to my cash stuffing i may not i may do a little stuffing before the new year but definitely in the new year i'm going hard with my cash stuffing I'm definitely going to be doing a challenge or two, maybe just one, but I'm definitely getting back on the train because there are so many things that I need to save for for next year, but I need to get this in order here. I need to get my budget in order. So probably the next video will be my monthly budget, and um, I'll keep you guys posted again about this weekly budget here. This is sad. I just don't know. Now, again, hair can always turn around and make more. Like I said, I always go with the lowest amount that I think that I will make. And right now, that is $700. So, it is what it is, you know. And I just have to learn to work with it. I have to get better at my saving. Um, I really for, totally forgot about this, uh, you know, my tags. That will be a new envelope for 2022. Because I think my tags are on either a yearly basis or two-year basis. So, I wouldn't have to put a lot to it. But yeah, that is it, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload content such as this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.